The sound of the final buzzer means it's hangover time. So grab a drink and join your host, Alphonse Sidney, for a Miami Heat Beat post game show. Suns win! Suns win! Listen, man, I don't care. This is Miami Heat Beat, hangover time post game show. But for the next. Four games, hopefully, we are Suns beat. I'm. I don't care who else comes on the show. I don't care who who else they're rooting for. Shut up, Gianni, which you're rooting for the Bucks. Um, we are a pro Suns post game show, a pro Suns podcast right now. Loving everything that's happening with Chris Paul. The man is getting his flowers. He needs to get a ring. Uh, tonight was just a masterclass by you know the point God. I mean, come on, like. Listen, people talking about is he going to be a top five point guard if he wins a ring? He's a top five point guard right now. He's top two, and he he's probably not number two. But anyway, and I'm a biggest Magic Johnson fan of all time. But one thing I did, uh, if we want to take it to a heat angle, what I did see tonight watching this game is how can you as a Heat fan sit here and shit on a Kyle Lowry or any kind of veteran point guard? When you see what a veteran point guard can do for your squad, can do for a a, a, a rim running athletic big man like DeAndre Ayton, like you see what the man can do, and you're telling me that a guy like Kyle Lowry can't help your team. All right. So I, I just want Heat fans to all stop. Also, size, like legit size, not that little play play size yep. that the Heat got, that little, uh, you know, Trevor Ariza at the four, not that play play shit. I'm talking about Fisher real size. size. Yeah, that Fisher Price, <laughs> my first power forward shit we got going on. You got DeAndre Ayton and you got fucking Jay Crowder out there and you banging. Banging with these dudes. And Brooke Lopez ain't seen no shit like this all playoffs. Legit has it. Somebody said Capella. Capella, 52, 52 pounds soaking wet. Capella ain't DeAndre Ayton. Capella's the same size as Bam. Anyway, bring me out, Brass. I'm your host, Alphonse Sydney, aka Al, at aka at, aka Alf954. I'm sorry, it's been a minute. We haven't been on since last Thursday. This season has me has me ready to go every other night. Um, welcome to Hangover Time, the Miami Heat Beat post game show, and what we like to do every night before we get started, Brass. Let's find out what everybody's drinking. Hey. And good game, Mariah <laughs> has a fantastic point. The big three is back. Let's we go. have missed Siobhan and Tiff. Siobhan and Tiff took some time off. Um, I'm not me. sure what holiday it was, but y'all just dipped on a brother. <laughs> Nobody gave me the motherfucking memo that we were just taking two I, weeks off. And I, shit. I, I sent you the text message. It was Nobody called told black. me. I put it in the chat. It's called being black. Just take it. Just, just y'all, take y'all took that Juneteenth. That Juneteenth. Uh, uh, we took it seriously. Off, that yeah, yeah, yeah. They put it in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> they were That's like, "We didn't see it." They said it ain't a PTO <laughs> request. This is a demand. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be off. Just to let you know. <laughs> I don't be here. Well, you, you, they put that away message on their email quick. That's my favorite shit to do. Nefertiti says, yay, the show is less white again. That's, this show got real white for a minute. Oh my real God. white. We had sausage beat. Oh, cool. it, yeah. it was sausage beat. It was white beat. I hate white sausage beat, beat show. <laughs> Al froze. It looked like ESPN's wet dream. Oh. oh. Gross. <laughs> So, Brass, what are you drinking? <laughs> right. All right, yeah, what let's go around. Let's go around, people. Uh, so, I made myself uh, a smoky old fashioned. I have a, a smoker on my Ooh. bar, and so uh, oh, yeah, so that that's oh. always always good. Uh, Siobhan, what are you drinking tonight? I have some Robert Mondavi and some Gentleman Jack Neat. Nice. Am I back? Can y'all see yeah. me? Yes. That phrase earlier. You bet. Yes. All right. Shit. We gonna ride with it. Listen, there's a, a tornado warning in my area. I guess maybe that's happening. I have no idea. Excuses. Uh, excuses. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, it's my my knee. I'm Giannis. Um, <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> what are you drinking tonight? 
So in honor of CP3, I tried um, this like Tito's with this like sparkling water. Ooh. It ain't work out. No. Nope. It, <laughs> no. it, 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 it was the more heartless. I mean, I, it, yo, this shit got signed, got too much money, average mm. point one points, and it's watery. Well, I'm going to ride with it. I'm going to ride with it. And it's watery. That's it. You got to send that's, that to Sacramento. That's that Avery Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said Alpha seeing three cameras. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to work through this shit tonight. That tornado. Hey, you, fi- that you got tornado that LeBron finna- poke in the eye. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, that tornado finna hit. I'm gonna hold the mic and just go as long as I can. Brass, what are you drinking tonight? I already said it's only oh, but uh, I'll tell you, yeah, I'm a smoky old fashioned. Tell me, I don't, oh, I may, I may I'm, smoke it over. Yeah, I got a smoker on my favorite, bar. So. Our favorite, yeah. Listen, yeah. We're gonna yeah. hit that rooftop bar up when you come down, Frankie. Yeah. What are you drinking tonight? Nice shirt. I like the shirt, Frankie. Hey, thank you. I'm doing a key lime pie sour from a local brewery down here, trying to re- uh, represent and. Uh, the, the non-racist uh, breweries down here. Let's go. <laughs> y'all, y'all play too much with your beer, man. I'm sorry. First of all, I don't really like beer too much, but then y'all always have some old, old freaky shit with your beer. Like, what's key lime pie beer? That yeah, sounds racist. It's a sour. It's just lime. They, they it's just a lime sour. There's no key lime fucking pie. It's just, right. What happened to hops and barley and shit? You know, we just rise. What, how about yeah. what happened to beer? Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like well, I'm about to turn this to the old man get off my lawn show. At least it's not hard I mean, seltzer. You could like you can either yeah. enjoy the drink or pretend to enjoy the drink. I'd rather enjoy the drink. So listen, all yeah. right, Frankie, I ride with you. I ride. With you. I like I like I like that explanation. Like yes, you know, a bunch of people doing a stink face drinking beer. No, yeah, they don't exactly. like it. <laughs> Frankie said, it's "Fuck good. it, man. I'm gonna drink some shit I like." Anyway, anyway. let's get to tonight's game. Um, like. What I thought coming in is that first of all, the Bucks ain't seen nobody healthy yet. <laughs> like they have not. They faced that Heat team. I don't care what nobody says. I'm surprised Bam's playing in the Olympics because I thought he was going to have surgery on his hand. Um, Jimmy, his ankle was all right. They did not look right. No Victor Oladipo. We can talk about that all we want to. Um, you know, uh, Goran was old. Um, it just kept getting older. And then, you know, they played the Brooklyn Nets. When the Brooklyn Nets had two of their three, they was whooping them boys soundly. Like, it was not – it was like – it wasn't even a contest. They were just whooping the shit out of them. And then we saw what happened to Brooklyn. Then we see what happened to Atlanta. Trey Young in and out of the lineup never looked right. They, you know, they were missing – but they did miss Giannis for the last two games, last three games, and they 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 took care of business. You have to give them the prop for that, okay? So I'm not taking nothing away, but it also it was a five seed, right? Like let's let's not forget the fact that this the Hawks were still a five seed. They were happy to be in that motherfucker. Um, but now <laughs> Siobhan, they facing a team fully locked and loaded. Chris Paul looking out yep. there like he's feeling good. Like yep. I don't, you know, I don't know if the Bucks can handle a fully healthy Suns team. They're fully healthy, and the pieces that they have fully healthy are some damn good pieces. You got a locked and loaded Chris. Devin um, came out and, and just played confidently. He didn't look nervous. He didn't look, you know, shook at all. They have great youth. They have actual talent in their youth. Um, and, yeah, they got a solid big man that he does what he does and does it well. Um, yeah, Milwaukee hasn't seen a team that looks like this, um, and, I, and I think it'll be interesting to see how well they – or not um handle them going forward tiff to what siobhan is saying they have all the different pieces they have the dynamic score in devin booker that can go out there and get you all different kinds of buckets three levels they have the big man who on both sides of the floor can get that he can get you a bucket and he has a presence inside defensively like legit big man they got a jay crowder utility guy doing everything you want and at the end of the day when everything goes to shit you know who they have one of the greatest point guards in the history of the NBA. So, I mean, w- compared to what they face, like they, this is the, the Hawks on steroids. Right, right. This- well, listen, they got they got Cliff Paul in that first quarter. And yep, I don't know I what know. happened, but his ass went in the locker room and came out with his cape on. They not ready. They not ready. Because the one thing I noticed about Drew, if you giving it to Drew, 
he slacks off. Yep. And he, he if will. you if you really watch, <laughs> if you if you watch his play, if you giving it to him, he slacks off. And he's also so willing to switch. That's why yes. Lopez was getting that business. That's why Bobby Portis was getting that work because Drew, <laughs> instead of fighting through that screen, he said, nah, go ahead. Go you, ahead. Got you got it. it. You got it. You got it. And he was giving it to him. They're Wait, not Frank, ready. Frankie, speaking of Bobby Portis getting that work, because uh, one of the things I really enjoyed, and it was like, it made me upset because I was watching, I was like, look what happens when you have guards that can attack a switch. Instead of just blaming your big man, your center in in, in uh, Bam Adebayo. I'm sorry, Shmita Shmonik says what Phoenix did to Brooke Lopez was too explicit to post on Pornhub. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sweet. it was it was dirty what they were doing. Order. But how nice was it to see guards take advantage of that mm -hmm. instead of just saying Bam, what's Bam gonna do? What's Bam gonna do? Like your guards, Kendrick Nunn, the, you know Tyler Hero, Goran Dragic. If can you can you attack? you know, a uh, Brooke Lopez on the perimeter, and they just couldn't. And it was just – it was amazing to see a team actually be able to do some of these things. So we do have a clip of what happened to Crazy Eyes Bobby Portis <laughs> when he got – when he was is trapped in space uh, against Chris Paul. This is two consecutive possessions, which I love. <laughs> look crazy eyes. Oh, I got him. Look at him. I got his ass. Look, I'm going to get him. Got him with that oh, in and oh, out behind oh, the belt. Oh, my oh, oh. God. Yes, he did. Woo. That boy's Ooh. still at the three-point line. But, you see, but notice yeah. one thing. Look at where Chris Paul's head is. It's up. He yeah. can see the yeah. whole court with every <laughs> dribble he takes. He can see the whole court. <laughs> That's the one. He worked That's the one point guard. time. He worked That's a real one time the whole okay, far him. right <laughs> side. <laughs> Open ah, and, then, and then he looked Bobby, back, he looked yo, back on the road. Why he look like he out there in Black Air Force Ones? Uh, he is Bobby in Black Air Force Ones. <laughs> Bobby Portis. <laughs> Portis. Yeah, ankle socks. With the white yeah, socks. ankle socks. With the and, white and ankle he, socks. And he got the wristband on his elbow like it's 1994. He about to spit. He got a t-shirt on like his college. I'm telling you, like. But doing he, the worst part he, of defense, you didn't see him just yeah. swiping, swiping, swiping. He's swiping, swiping, swiping like right. Tyler Hero in a fucking boxing gym. Yep. Just, <laughs> ah, just ah, ah. swiper, no swiping. <laughs> swiping ah. no, he wasn't stealing. <laughs> you remember Michael trying to run in the office? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, like I, I thought that shit was fucking hilarious. But Frankie, just speak to that a little bit. Like what the Suns guards did to those switches all it's night like, long. It's like what you mentioned about Bam. It's they can attack you in so many different ways. You have Booker that can get to his spot all three levels. He when they got the switch on the big man, they're they're attacking him. They're opening up the mid range. They're stepping back in the side steps, getting him to play up. You saw that possession right there on Portis for CP3 pulls him out. Open gets the angle, attacks the basket, gets a layup. Now Portis is is denying the layup all the way. He steps back, hits a three in his face. We the Heat just didn't have that on the ball option. Suns have three guys who are doing that, and, uh -huh. uh, and, and Paul yep. B Booker and Campaign, who out of yep. nowhere is the biggest bubble yeah. fluke to ever exist. Because that guy was in China <laughs> last year. Now that motherfucker is like most improved six man of the year <laughs> type player, and 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 putting up to question like. Hey, if Chris Paul is out, we can start campaign. That's that was a, not a fucking question a year ago, but now all of a sudden you can put fucking campaign in and and be like, oh, we don't miss Chris Paul that much. Cameron Payne. I don't even know that's hey. his real name. Cameron Payne is doing that to everybody in the fucking league this year. Don't talk to me about bubble flukes or bubble frauds. When Cameron Payne is doing this this season. You now if Cam this, this is the biggest champagne with my campaign. <laughs> this is the biggest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. <laughs> What's my name? What's my name? Yo, you bet you got respect campaign <laughs> on here. Full respect. He has the ugliest love. lefty shot. Lefty shots usually look pretty pretty. He goes. His is really ugly. Sideways. Right. Mm -hmm. His whole he body goes, is sideways. Gah. That's why he stepped himself all the way the fuck out of bounds. He already was way <laughs> deep in the corner and then had to position himself for Twinkle. the shot. He he it's twinkle that, toes that shit. He's like he's like the celebrity oh, shot no, or, no. or the, the 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 beer pong shot that you have to do the offense. <laughs> you gotta go all elbow. Respect to John Leguizamo. The boy's yeah. like he like he like he playing darts. <laughs> 
he got he's got the nuts tonight though. He fucking crazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> he fucking cooked those guys. Chris Paul, man, Chris Paul wow. was so good. Chris Paul outscored Drew and Giannis put together. The Bucks aren't gonna win like that. I mean, I, 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 if the Bucks wanted to win, but, they shouldn't have brought Giannis back. If we're being real, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Without Giannis, hash right. hey, um, <laughs> listen. I mean, the Heat were gonna sweep the Bucks last year, and then Giannis is out for a game, right? Is that didn't that how it went down? Well, yeah. I think what happens is they are so the game plan when Giannis is in, it becomes it's very simple. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you yeah. build that wall around Giannis, and you ask these other guys to beat you. Like there was a, a play, and Connaughton still scored. But Conan has free run to the rim, but he sees Giannis, you know, running, running to the next to him uh, on the left side, and he gives it up to Giannis. Yeah. If Giannis isn't in the game, Conan free run to the rim, finger rolls it right in. There was nobody even ar around him. But at the same time, does he even have that free run if, if Giannis right. isn't in the game? So it, it's tough. But like, I feel like if you're game planning for an entire series, of the Bucks without Giannis, you can game plan for that. But when you don't know if Giannis is going to be in the lineup, when he's out, that game plan is so different. It's I think it really it really throws the opposing team for a loop. So um, I'm not saying they're better without Giannis. I just say it's it called hard. sarcasm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Guy, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's called bro. sarcasm. Relax, you guys bro. think the no. Bucks are better without Giannis? There's no hope for all. I mean, give me a break. A we we sarcasm. know we're well fucking aware. We, and that, even with all that, that said, Alpha is Giannis still is correct really good, what but he's, he's saying. No, but, exactly. The <laughs> game plan that, that is they're different. better able to. They're easier to guard with it because yes, yes. that's the full focus. When he's not there, the ball pops more. There's more movement. There's more initiative taken by other guys to go get buckets because we don't have this you know eight foot six dude in the paint but, Paul, right. it's, it and it's always what i say about like when people talk about random scrubber heat killers and why the heat lose to some of these bad teams in the regular season like when you are getting that team on a one-off on a bad night or, or or like you don't know where the scoring's coming from which yeah. is where, what happens with a lot of bad teams right you got a bunch of guys every once in a while somebody blows up yeah it's hard to defend and hard to game plan against those kinds right. of teams they're not the Bucks are not better without Giannis, They're but on a, in a one game sample, they are different, mm -hmm. and it's hard to game plan when you don't know if Giannis is playing or not. Yeah, and, now, and you have you have two big men in Giannis and Brooke Lopez that both feast inside. Brooke can hit some threes, but if Brooke is hitting threes, that uh, you know you you right. tip your cap to him. That you, there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. But now when both of them are inside, it's a little bit easier to defend if you have the size. Now a lot of teams don't have the size to play their offense and defend the, the, exactly. the Bucks. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. The Heat can't guard that because the Trevor yep. Ariza isn't big enough. What last year when they had Jay Crowder? Man, why Trevor had, catches strays? Ah, it's not his fault. It's <laughs> It's not his fault. He's it, small. It's just the team he's on. Look at Jay right. tonight. Jay, Jay had one point, but he made an impact. Had nine rebounds, bothered yeah. Giannis, was a big body inside, can help and switch. They can they can bring eights and up on the level and disrupted Drew all night. Drew only had 10 points. And that's another thing for Drew. He's he's navigating a lot more space without Giannis in the lineup. And uh, and you have to count on all these shooters to hit shots to open up the lanes a lot more because there's no space inside. If you, if uh, if Brooks not hitting shots, if, if the shots right. aren't falling, they just camp inside. And if yeah. you have the size, you can defend that. You get you just got to rebound and make sure Giannis yeah. isn't getting a steady diet on putbacks. You know, fuck it. I'll double down on this. Next time they need to play the other Anthony Tacumpo. How about that? <laughs> For that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Absolutely. I agree. Just see, see how, just start him. Just let's just see, see what, what happens. happens. How mad Honestly, would you, it'll throw him off. It'll throw him off. It'll fuck him up. Like, how mad would you be, this? Siobhan? You out here, you know, you you was a big time college and and, and pro right. athlete, and this dude, there's a player on the bench that's only there because their siblings on the team, <laughs> and they and you come back playing your ass off and get back to the bench, and he over there coach or he she over there coaching you up. Like you, need, I see him like, oh, you need to do this. You need to yeah. do that. I'm like, bro, I would be nasty if you don't get your dumb ass out of my face. Yeah, even within the if you don't give me a cup of Gatorade team, immediately. Your, own, your teammates right. know why you here. Right. Like right. you yeah. only here because Tanya got pregnant. They was done right. recruiting. Like <laughs> you were here, that's your brother. Exactly. <laughs> you know that was it. Giannis wasn't coming unless he brought you with him. Exactly. So, okay, I guess you can come. Oh, you got to bring him? Damn. Oh, it's a package right. deal, man. Damn. Right. Y'all got one for my, my friend over here? Y'all right. he, he got one more pass? One more pass? <laughs> you got another contract for my brother? Yeah. He cute. He cute. Yeah. 
<laughs> he wore tight jeans and all. He's six nine. I mean, come on. <laughs> he's six nine. That's a good one right there. He, yeah. he's tall. He's tall. tall. He at least looks the part. He ain't got no skills. But notice he don't talk to everybody. Because no. the real ones already told him, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Bobby Portis done threatened his life three to four times already. He just looked at him. Bobby oh, Portis oh, didn't yeah, even they're, say nothing. Didn't they're treating him like we treat G behind the scenes. Like, like fuck up, fuck off, G. Shut up. <laughs> G talking about soccer in the chat. Oh, my he, God. Oh, scum. <laughs> He come yeah, in there. Hey, hey, Bobby, you need when 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 the dive, Bobby said. What's no, dude's no, name? Right. For, what's the dude's name for Chicago that he punched? Miritich. Miritich. All, he all Bobby turn away. around. All, yeah. all Bobby do is turn around and go Miritich. Everybody, everybody shake. Yeah, Bobby, Nicole Bobby, Nicole. Bobby punched that kid out of the league. <laughs> that motherfucker got deported. Punched his ass back True. to Europe. He, he went, went to New to Orleans Europe. and then he said, gone. Fuck this shit. He said, I'm not going. He I didn't no come to America to get my no ass. Like, this ain't the fucking 18. He got his jaw broken and was shipped out. That's crazy. <laughs> Bobby's actually great friends. Well, There's actually, a... Bobby's actually great friends with the NASA. Oh. Well, I'm a true, like, I'm, well, I, I'm, I think I said that right. We're, thank you for coming to watch the show. We appreciate you. Good, but come on, man. You got to get the show, man. Like, you got to get the show. At like, first, you was telling us that we really think the Bucks are better without Giannis, and now it's you're telling us about Bobby and fucking Thanasis play spades on the weekend. And God, what the fuck? <laughs> you said they play strokes. spades. They play spades on the weekend. Bobby actually taught Thanasis how to drive. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, yeah, that's why Bob, yeah, Bobby's <laughs> eyes. It looks like he's seen some shit. Frankie with the fucking odd Hanging facts with about the Thanasis Bobby relationship. <laughs> Bobby Jeez. and Dennis have a Uno night every Thursday. <laughs> Would you ever play Bobby Portis? Bobby don't got the patience. Oh, hell shit. no. First of all, you don't know if he bluffing or not. Mm -mm. I got twelve. It's not even twelve <laughs> books. No, Bobby. Bobby's the type. If you beat him in anything, he he's fighting. Yeah, you know, he's gonna yeah. be nig all night. He Bobby Portis be nigging from from the no. first. He dropping ace of spades on the first fucking right. hand. Like what? Those Bobby, are hearts. I know you got yeah. a heart, bro. Bobby exactly. might. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> might have to be nice, but he don't Bobby, have the patience you... to teach the nasses. No, he got Bobby don't got the patience to teach the nasses. Oh, was it, what was that story that came that we heard about Bobby this week? That like part of the reason that he that he has that kind of look at uh, guys because like I what like before he games pictured, he, before the games yeah. he pictures of the opponent slapping his mother. Oh yeah. <laughs> And he gets him. Exactly. First of all, that's a lie. That's a lie. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I don't that's believe that. So for a I'm so, uh, first of all, that's such like, a Kevin Garnett lie. They finally yes, asked, told you right. he's Fisher, He's fake right. ass Kevin Garnett. <laughs> he finally got some attention paid. Now even fighting to the Europeans, lying to the media. <laughs> Marcus, well, I mean, imagine I mean, a Bobby Portis and Kurt Thomas <laughs> staring contest. Shit Bobby's like, Bobby's the type. I bet on the planes they like take out the cards. Bobby walks by the ah oh, fuck. Put these away. Put these away. We don't want to play with Bobby. Oh, no shit. dominoes for Bobby. Hey, oh, Bobby. You're like Bobby, like, where the cards at, baby? Where the Frank, cards at? Act, act, like, act like you sleep. Act like you sleep. Act like you sleep. <laughs> Y'all ain't got nothing on them dominoes. Y'all ain't got nothing on them bones. They're like nah, Bobby. Nah, Bobby. We ain't. Nah, Bobby. I forgot it, man. Nah, we ain't got no game. I was gonna tuck mine in. <laughs> he looks. He looks like Debo's cousin with the eyes. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Shabazz uh, just said yes. He this motherfucker. Come on, Bobby. Right? Oh, he's he's Bobby. What? He's a grown man named Bobby. First of all, <laughs> the whole team wearing old sneakers on the plane. Like, don't show Bobby your new shit, man. <laughs> Right, because he's snatching it. Them, them Jordan threes, them the threes. What size you got? What size you got? What size you got? Not your size, Bobby. Damn, man. He's my size, nigga. Damn, shit. Bobby over here trying to sell stolen shit on the plane back to you. Your shit. <laughs> like yo, you, you seen this watch? You like this watch, baby? My Bobby, name is on the inside watch. of it. He can't watch snatch it though describe. because every time he sees it, he tries to be slick and he ends up just going. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, my shit say can't. Imagine him trying to sneak up on, on the somebody. inside. <laughs> he can't never sneak up on nobody. No. You can't sneak up. You can be you quiet as hell. This is loud as fuck. That shit reflects. <laughs> <That too. laughs> We 
should hit. put sound effects on that shit. I bet you, I bet you, uh, Bud plays that shit on the on the plane. He punch a Bud right in his neck. That's why he always looked like he crying because Bobby don't whoop that ass. Fuck you, Bud. You ain't, you ain't show Brooke minutes. getting embarrassed. <laughs> Brooke looked like shit too. Sorry. Right. Um, sorry, Brass. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry Take about. me out, Brass. <laughs> I was say, what y'all locking on a player's over? Listen, there's a whole lot of shit. Like, oh, yeah. honestly, I haven't got the Brent Ford light skin ass yet. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ugh, simple looking ass. Oh, just <laughs> he looked like he can't read the playbook. He looked like he snitched. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like the Giannis, he looks Giannis, like Giannis, did, Giannis didn't. Giannis didn't. Look, like a look, he the first one. Giannis didn't cut, coach. <laughs> <laughs> he be the first one. Where y'all Bobby going? Stormont watch. Where y'all Bobby going? Stormont. We got curfew. <laughs> I bet he he looked like he waiting the hallway with a robe. Bro. Talking about guys. Right. I was Eleven o'clock to... curfew, guys. Coach, I know we're on my in my alley, guys. <laughs> Coach Brooke didn't touch the line on the suicides. <laughs> Coach. He over here talking about he, he didn't pass his COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't get a shot. Fucking like snitch ass Bryn. Thanks, Bryn. <laughs> Someone said Bryn <laughs> Forbes looks like Marco says Bryn Dang Forbes looks like Bruno Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Just a discount ass version. Just a shitty R and B singer. Just terrible. <laughs> Oh my Ain't God. make it out the 90s correctly. Fake, fake Game of Thrones character. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. He's the, he the last motherfucker on the night's watch. <laughs> <laughs> He's the first one to die. <laughs> Talk about Jon Snow left his post. <laughs> Shut up, Brynn. Goddamn. The walkers hear your ass. Shut up. Snitching ass Brynn. He, sw- he snitching to the Night King. <laughs> they in Motown. It wasn't me. They in Motown. Don Snow over there. A says, "I hope they call him Brian when they met. <laughs> <laughs> they better." I'm like, Bri- "Shut up, Brian. It's, it's Brian. Brian. It's, it's Brian Ford. Brian. It's Brian. It's a family name. Shut up, Brian. How dare you, Brian? How, how dare you? <laughs> First of all, how dare you?" I pass you the ball when you're open. You're going to call me Brian? <laughs> Unbelievable. Frankie said, said, first of all, like he's calling the manager. <laughs> he's the Karen. We call we call the Karen's Bryn now. <laughs> Karen. Oh, um, somebody say he the somebody say he's the forgotten the barge the brother. Oh, my boy said the other day we was talking about Trey Young, and he's like, "Man, how you gonna get beat by the barge brother?" And I was like, "God damn, how we let a whole playoff go?" That we man didn't call him one Chico round, one time. Two rounds, three. We call him L the barge Chico. We I'm Chico. like, we slipped up hard. Chico. My man, my my homeboy said, "Yo, yo, he looked yeah. like a, a the barge brother." I was like, "Fuck, man, we missed a whole string of jokes." Put that little wispy mustache <laughs> on his ass. <laughs> anyway, motherfucker, lit right. us up in the first round, though. <laughs> oh, so he was bowing at the garden and everything. It was right there. It it was. And how do we miss the barge jokes? Yeah, we. Missed I'm real. Them. Like honestly, I feel I've never felt like such a failure um, <laughs> in my life. Um, but speaking of fails, we we got a whole series uh to go off on Sons and Bucks. Um, uh, but before we get out of here, we must address the whole Rachel Nichols um hating on a black woman getting ahead controversy. Now, tomorrow on Hang on oh, not Hangover Time, Miami Heat Beat, there's going to be a nuanced, intelligent discussion. Of what's going on with with Rachel Nichols and Maria Taylor and you know uh, Kendrick Perkins and other black men sticking up for Rachel Nichols and we're not sure why we're gonna talk about all that stuff on Miami Heat beat. They're gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, but we're not gonna get that nuance. Um, we're not gonna get nuance on, on this show. We we about them jokes. Okay, so. <laughs> We have a special guest coming up, but before we get to the guest, we want to give you guys some reference, right? You know, kind of frame what we're talking about. So first of all, what we want to show you. Okay, so Rachel Nichols, she said, if you don't know, what the fuck you been? 
Rachel Nichols uh, apparently said some shit about Maria Taylor, um, allegedly, um, that she, you know, she got her spot because of diversity hires. Listen, we've all been there. I've, I'm in the shoes of that many a times in my career. I don't give a fuck as long as the check clear. You can you can say whatever the fuck you want about me. As long as I'm getting paid, keep talking. Um, but, you know, Rachel Nichols out, out there running off at the mouth. So, but then she had this, this, this robust, just heartfelt apology. Go ahead, Brass. So the first thing they teach you in journalism school is don't be the story. And I don't plan to break that rule today or distract from a fantastic finals. But I also don't want to let this moment pass without saying how much I respect, how much I value our colleagues here at ESPN, how deeply, deeply sorry I am oh, for disappointing fierce, those I, I hurt, know. particularly Maria Taylor, and how grateful oh. I am to be part of this outstanding team. Oh, Jesus. I mean, y'all saw I mean, Richard Jefferson? He looked at Perk like, you take it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he, did, he looked at Perk like. <laughs> You got Hot potato. <laughs> um, so that was an apology. You got, got it. <laughs> Very heartfelt. I love when it's like, when it's like, I don't want to be the story. You were already the story. But you stay the story all the time. When you talk about how you feel about something, I feel this, I feel that. You know, you're going to bring your own fucking personal experiences of Black Lives Matter all fucking summer. All kinds of shit, but when it when you out here being on some racist bullshit, all of a sudden I don't want to be the story. Oh, now you humble as fuck, ain't it? So, I mean, that she, was she took that absence from Twitter. Like there was so much time, it felt like an eternity. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like she she act, like she didn't even apologize like formally on Twitter. She just started posting shit again like two days later. Yeah, like, just acting like nothing. But it's happened. like <laughs> that apology is like that forgot? was that was some weak ass shit. It's like when, it's like someone hits you with a disc record. You go back for two days and come back with this. Yeah, <laughs> like you had two days to write some bars. Like, well, that's what you came back with. Mm-hmm. Should have paid attention in journalism school. And okay, and this is a and what they said is a whole other problem. But never TD points out the two black men talk longer than she sure. did, mm-hmm. which is you know once again they got those rings on their back. But it's like why it's it always ends up being us that have to be the ones to address these things, and the person who perpetrated the whole fucking nonsense gets to skate off with a half-ass apology. Because we're in, we 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 keep building this society in which where everybody wants black people to fix things that are racist, racism, mm-hmm. and things that are just totally fucked up. But you can't ask people that are oppressed to fix things that are being done by the oppressor. It's the most ignorant thing ever. And the fact that like willingly ESPN let those two dudes come on and sit there Mm. and let her read that apology that she didn't write, somebody else wrote and was like, bitch, read this teleprompter. (laughs) That's exactly what happened. So number one, before like I actually think about what I really think about, especially Perkins, like they put them in a really bad position. They really did. But with that being said, you still can control your own narrative by what you say. Yes, exactly. Or you choose to abstain. But, uh, but that, choosing to abstain at the same time is weakness in itself. Because you out here, you'll speak on shit all day long. Right. Um, but when it comes to something that's a little controversial, you defer like you'll call out black men by their name all day every day yep but once it comes mm. to something a little bit controversial you get meek as fuck because i gotta feed is, my kids or because because i gotta feed my kids and the person that did the wrong didn't do the wrong to me it was good to me shut the fuck yep. up they with all of that can you and what that what that sound like do, I, they, they was good to me Brass, um but play the play the spaces clip I was about to say, go ahead, yeah, Brass. Man. Speaking of, they was good mm. to me. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Ooh. the situation today. And I'm saying that you could be mad at whoever else, but at the end of the day, Kendrick Perkins didn't have anything to do with none of this conversation. Kendrick Perkins was scheduled to be on the jump regardless before this even came out yesterday. Now, I had to address it. And I thought I addressed it appropriately. I, I thought, thought I, I did a good job, son. Well, for one, 
I spoke and I acknowledged Rachel for however you want to say her apology <laughs> was. She apologized. I and I spoke you. and I said, it. and I also said that she never did nothing towards me because she didn't. I would be lying on her. <sighs> and I gave Maria her flowers. And at the end of my Maria didn't want conversation, that shit. Again, I said <laughs> that we flowers. all need to be rooting for each yeah, other. It's lying. enough to go she... around. I don't know what other peaceful way I could have said it. Okay, no, and then at the end of the day, I can't go on there and and and, and go off and go crazy <laughs> and risk losing my job because some other people want me to go on there and speak for how on how they feel. I did that in the most peaceful, respectful Peace. manner, and then I'm a man dealing with some conflict and confusion that's going on between <laughs> Why, women. There's nothing that's confused about what was said. So Perkins is just always confused. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. No. <laughs> this is like right, who are you asking? I, I I get your reasoning. <laughs> get him, Sandy. I get that it's more comfortable for you to do what you did. I'm not going to take that away from you. Um, but I do think that there was a very there was a great opportunity to have an important conversation that was not had because you guys were too scared to have it. Ooh, no, God. no, it wasn't. It wasn't yeah. about being too scared. It was, it's yeah. about. It's about. It's shit. First of all, do you know? Do you know? Understand the position that <laughs> Richard Jefferson and myself was in as two African Americans having to come on. Do you not day. understand? And the we position don't have you anything to do with the way. situation. That was a very we, uncomfortable position. So that's the problem. That like at the end of the day. We need to we get we gotta we gotta stop like there's so many things we need to stop saying stop saying folks is fucking allies he's not even an ally to himself <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's he yeah. sold himself out in that fucking chair praising yeah. rachel like guess what i my thing is y'all friends with her hey i call my friends out every day you do something fucked up yo that's wrong you need to you got to make amends for that I'm not sitting here saying that she need to lose her job, this and that, but like it all trickled down to them. And it's so funny how like <clears throat> Rachel has become the joke of the story, but now the story is more about like Perk doing this shuck and jive bullshit. And, and this is where yeah. like I keep saying ESPN also needs to bear a lot of this brunt. Number one, like let's be realistic. Stop just grabbing any ex player and throwing them in front of a mic. We got to stop doing well, that. Well, okay. So this is my thing. You, you gotta said, you stop said, allowing yourself to be. Y'all setting us up bad because we about to be thrown. We about to throw this motherfucker in front of a mic. Oh, uh oh. Well, uh, if he's willing oh. to, if he's willing to talk again, hey, keep digging. I, I, he said he'd come on, so let's. He see said he's gonna can... come on, so let's go ahead. Let's, let's go ahead and bring. Y'all can ask Perk all these questions when he come on. All right. <laughs> God damn it. Am I in space? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yesterday the girls from Dishes and Dimes told me I was going to be in space. But it's, it's, said, it's, it's spaces. Oh it's spaces. Perk. No, they said space. So I dressed for the occasion. <laughs> um, but instead, I got aggregated. It's 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 aggregated. That's what yeah, agoraphobia. Um but yeah. <laughs> but thank y'all for inviting me to y'all my space. Um I think what happened to Rachel Nichols is bullshit. That's a fantastic white woman who does her job and I thank her every day for the opportunity that she has given me an unqualified black man to talk about basketball. <laughs> I don't, is my mouth right? <laughs> <laughs> Your nostrils talking. <laughs> this is hard. As long phrasing, as, phrasing, Perk. As, as, as kind as you're speaking for Rachel. Space is confusing. Go go ahead, Shavon. Why didn't you feel the need? To, why didn't you feel the need to 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 speak up for Maria to to have Maria's back like you had Rachel's? 
Um, because Maria Taylor ain't never get me no job. Um, I don't know her like that. Rachel Nichols got me a job. So I ride for the people that get me employed and paid. Um, same way that I rode for Kendrick Perkins and Paul Pierce and all these other people that carried me for all my years in my career. So if you carry me, I'm going to carry you. That's how it goes. Carry the hell on. <laughs> Why are you talking to third person so much? I never trust people to talk in a third person. Because Kendrick Perkins is not to be played with. So I just try to make sure that you understand that there's three of us. So when I'm talking to third person, that means there's three. <laughs> Carry the hell off. <laughs> Kendrick, do you know how to talk in the first person? Do you know what that means? I don't know who the first motherfucker is. <laughs> Carry the hell on. <sighs> Tiff, you got anything? I, I uh, brass, take them out. <laughs> no, wait, wait. I just want to say, I know y'all a heat podcast, and I'm thankful for being part of your MySpace. Um... <laughs> And I just want to say, Bam out of the Bayou is going to have a fantastic season. And I believe in them goons from Miami. Um, and the rest of the league can carry the hell on. And thank you, Rachel Nichols, for my paycheck. Listen, you keep that goon shit to yourself, all right, Perk? Like, you, we, we all hate you on Heat Twitter. <laughs> what? And all of a sudden, you started saying, like, oh, them goons from Miami is like, oh, and everyone's like, oh, yeah. Oh shit, Perk's on our side. Perk's fucking awesome now. No, no, no. I ne I never got fooled. You fucking suck, Perk. I'm sorry, man. That's that's a terrible thing to say in your MySpace. <laughs> and I'm not appreciative of this bullshit. And I'm gonna go off and do my thing and and spacewalk with Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Must you? <laughs> Must you? Elon Musk. You heard what I said. Oh, Carry the hell on. You in the new Space Jam movie? Ke Ke no. LeBron told me at the restraining order. Again? At the bottom it says, carry the hell on. <laughs> Are y'all gonna have me stand here? Just Absolutely. Here? This is we're, waiting, we're, we're waiting for the hard elf. That's your biggest contribution in years. Ke the Kendrick. hard elf, right? Oh, that was weird. Oh. oh. You haven't had an assist like this in years. I don't pass the ball. I'm a bad teammate like Woj. Woj. Carry the hell on. What do you think about Trey Young? I think he looked like one of the DeBarges. <laughs> L, Chico, Ray Ray, Earl, all the debarges. You're not even trying with the mouth thing anymore, are you, Al? I don't even know where the fucking mouth is. 